Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use Voice Meter Banana to separate Discord audio from your desktop audio and much more. So the first step you want to do is you want to get Voice Meter Banana from the Voice Meter Banana website. You can simply do this by just searching up Voice Meter Banana, going to the Voice Meter Banana website, and then scrolling down and downloading the exe file. Once it's downloaded, you're going to need to open Voice Meter. Since we already have Voice Meter installed, it's going to say remove, but for you, it'll say install. When it does this, it'll install the drivers and you'll need to restart your PC. Please make sure you open this tutorial in a separate device so that you don't lose connection and you can still hear me. Now the first thing you want to do when you get on your computer is you want to go to your control panel. Then you want to hit hardware and sound, sound, and then this dialog box will pop up. Then you want to scroll down, select your aux input as your default communications device by right clicking and there will be an option to select. And then you want to make sure that your input is your default device. Again, input is your default device and your aux input is your default communications device. Once you have that done, go to recording, do the same thing. Make your aux your default communications device and your normal output your default device. Once you have that done, hit apply, OK, and then close out of this. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to your voice meter banana application. Hit that up. There'll be a small timer here which will say that your engine is starting. And once you have that done, there's a couple things we need to set up. One, you want to set your A1 by left clicking on it and then setting it to your speakers or whatever you want to listen to your sounds with. I have it set to my speakers which go through the Realtek High Definition Audio Driver and using WDM. I strongly suggest using uh, WDM because it's the fastest driver and it'll have the fastest response time. Similarly, we're going to need to set up your hardware input for your microphone. So again, left click on this, a drop down menu will appear, select your microphone, I'm using a Rode microphone, and then have that selected. Now what you need to do is you want to make sure that you set up your microphone and your virtual inputs going to the right device. For example, I have my microphone currently going to my headset so I can hear myself, and then I also have it being outputted to the two options, both the output and the aux output. Then, what you want to do is you also want to make sure that your VAIO and aux have A1 enabled. You don't need these two enabled, but you do need to have A1 enabled so that you can hear the sounds coming out of your aux and your VAIO in your speakers. Now once you have this all set up, you should be able to hear sounds fine. However, there's a couple of things that you should still keep in mind. Uh, there's a couple of settings that you can mess around with, including the gate, which is how easily the microphone can pick up your voice. This is useful to uh, make sure that any background noise, such as like an air conditioner or something like that, isn't being consistently picked up by your microphone. The higher you set the gate, the higher the noise level will be before your mic starts picking up audio. Another couple of things you can mess around with is the equalizer. The equalizer has a bunch of options to set the treble. I usually uh, set the treble to a little bit higher, the bass a little bit higher, and then uh, just keep the mid about in the one decibel range. I don't mess with the aux equalizer because that affects uh, how your discord calls sound, so I don't recommend messing with that. Now that we have this done, we can move on to setting up a specific application. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using discord, but the same setting should apply to every communication app that you use. On Discord, normally you will have these set to your selected devices. Right now, I just have them set to default. By default, your output device will always be set to the aux, and same thing with your input device. The thing is, if you want to change these, you can al always manually choose these by just selecting the output or the aux output. I just prefer just leaving it uh, stuck like this, and then it works perfectly fine. Now here's a trick. If you want to play sounds on Discord and you want your friends to be able to hear what you're listening to on YouTube, what you can do is you can go to your control panel and take your main input and set it to your uh, microphones. So now what it'll do is if I don't speak and I play this, Now you can see that when I wasn't speaking, you could see the bar here go up and down. This means that your friends are going to be able to hear what you're talking about on Discord as well as listen to this. But since we have this set to the aux device here, your friend's voice will come through here, but they won't be able to hear themselves, which allows you to cast 
audio without having the issue of your friends being able to hear themselves over and it allows you to talk. If you want to change the volume of the music, you can do it through YouTube or you can use this slider down here to set how loud it goes. And that's all I have for you today. If you like this tutorial, please share it and like it. Uh, if you need any other help, uh, please just join my Discord server. I'm on there. You can ask me any questions about this. I'll be happy to walk you through. Um, if you have any video ideas, please leave them in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.